part two of our audio automatic gain control. Here's an improved circuit. It's improved on two counts. First of all, it's not dependent on the setting of the volume control. That's because instead of taking its audio from the speaker, it takes it from earlier in the circuit. Then it adds an extra transistor to amplify it to drive the transistor that in turn drives the light emitting diode. Working back from the circuit, it's much the same as before with the volume potentiometer, the light dependent resistor, the LED and the transistor circuit that drives it. Added is a one transistor audio amplifier, again using a BC548 or similar small signal NPN transistor. The input of that amplifier is driven by the output of the previous audio amplifier just before the volume control. You can see the output just before the 3.3K resistor. This is a close up look at the circuit board of the Audio AGC. It's complete except I haven't wrapped tape between the LDR and the LED. It's small enough to be fitted on the back of a volume control potentiometer. Also, in this case, you can see near my thumb the three pins for an external AGC control, which is another potentiometer. That allows variable AGC, or if you don't want that, you can replace it with a trim pot. AGC on, AGC off. AGC on, AGC off. This is a weak signal, AGC on, AGC off, hardly any difference. This is a better circuit than that described previously. It's a bit more sensitive and there's a better AGC range. If you had a choice of building the circuit either described last time or this one, then I would go for this one. And a reminder that it's not just for the bit X. It's got potential applications for other receivers as well as for transmitter and recording audio compression.